welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgeway. Thought I'd wear my uh, my hoodie, one of our YouTube channel hoodies uh, today. Uh, so we'll have to see if something bad actually happened on this day in Tudor history. So let's see. On this day in Tudor history, the 15th of October, 1537, Prince Edward, the future King Edward VI, was christened in a lavish ceremony in the Chapel Royal at Hampton Court Palace. Yay! Not something bad, actually. Something nice. Now, this son of King Henry VIII and his third wife, Jane Seymour, was three days old when he was christened. The day started with a procession from the Queen's apartments to the chapel where Thomas Cranmer, Archbishop of Canterbury, performed the baptismal rites in front of three to four hundred people, so a packed chapel. Edward's half-sister Mary stood as godmother, while his other half-sister, the four-year-old Elizabeth, bore the chrism cloth. Thomas Howard, Duke of Norfolk, Charles Brandon, Duke of Suffolk, and Archbishop Cramner stood as godfathers. Now, a report of Edward's christening in Letters and Papers from Henry VIII's reign tells of how Sir John Russell, Sir Francis Bryan, Sir Nicholas Carew, and Sir Anthony Brown surrounded the font, equipped with aprons and towel and gentlemen carrying torches, children and ministers of the King's Chapel with the Dean, gentlemen esquires and knights, chaplains, abbots and bishops, King's councillors and lords, the Comptroller and the Treasurer, ambassadors, Lord Chamberlains, Lord Cromwell, the Duke of Norfolk and the Archbishop all processed two by two into the chapel. I would have loved to have seen that. The Earl of Sussex, supported by Lord Montague, carried a pair of covered basins. Thomas Boleyn, Earl of Wiltshire and father of the late Queen Anne Boleyn, bore a taper of virgin wax. And Thomas Cromwell, Earl of Essex, carried a salt of gold. Behind these gentlemen came little Elizabeth with the chrism richly garnished. And she was supported by Edward Seymour, Viscount Beecham, the baby prince's uncle. Little Edward was carried under a canopy by the Lady Marquess of Exeter, Gertrude Blunt, supported by the Duke of Suffolk and her husband. The Earl of Arundel carried the train of the prince's robe, helped by Lord William Howard, and the canopy above them was supported by Sir Edward Neville, Sir John Wallop, Richard Long, Thomas Seymour, Henry Nivett and Mr Ratcliffe, all of the King's Privy Chamber. The Prince's wet nurse and midwife walked alongside the bearers of the train and torch bearers surrounded the canopy. After the canopy processed the Lady Mary, who was, of course, Edward VI's half-sister. Of course, he wasn't Edward VI at the time. And she had Lady Kingston carrying her train, followed by the other ladies of the court. After Archbishop Cramner had performed the rites of baptism, all of the torches were lit, and the Garter King of Arms proclaimed the prince's name and titles, Prince Edward, Duke of Cornwall and Earl of Chester. The Te Deum was then sung, spice, hippocras, bread and sweet wine were served, and then the torch-lit procession made its way out of the chapel, and the little prince was taken back to his mother and father, King Henry VIII and Queen Jane Seymour. Christening gifts included a gold cup from the Lady Mary, three bowls and two pots of silver and gilt from the Archbishop, and the same from the Duke of Norfolk, and two flagons and two pots of silver and gilt from the Duke of Suffolk. Now, a few years ago, I'm not sure whether you'll remember, but Lucy Worsley and David Starkey presented a documentary reenacting Edward VI's christening. It was called Britain's Tudor Treasure, A Night at Hampton Court. And it was a wonderful programme. It's just magnificent. I would love to have been there. I had some friends involved in it. Oh, it just looked fabulous. Now, this seems to be on YouTube at the moment. So I'll give you a link to watch that because it just, it's just wonderful. 
that you know, Hampton Court Palace still exists, the Chapel Royal still exists, and to see these people in Tudor costume actually reenacting this procession, oh, it's just like time travelling, it's just wonderful. So do watch that. Thank you for joining me. You can click round about there to subscribe to this channel and uh, you can hit the bell to be notified as videos go live. And you can, of course, give me a like as well. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you for joining me. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>